Today on Crossbow Nation, we're hunting hogs at Shiloh Ranch. Hey guys, Jeff here with Crossbow Nation. On today's episode of Crossbow Nation TV, we join staff member Bill Ball as he goes out to the Shiloh Ranch in Oklahoma. He takes a Camex crossbow and he gets it done on a nice hog. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Jeff here from Crossbow Nation. Junk. This thing is a monster. A point. The star is born. This is my first pig I ever shot. He's definitely one of the bucks that was on our hit list. Uh, I'm glad he was on the tracking job with me. This is a result of our hunt this morning. The rest is history. So we're settled in our box blind it's, and uh, we have these whitetails come in. So the whitetails are at the feeder and we're thinking, oh man, we're golden. There's no way a pig's going to smell us. We got whitetails standing there 20 yards. They don't smell us, so we're good. So we see this huge boar. He's coming off to our right. He's coming in. Sure enough, he throws his nose up, smells us immediately and just hightails it out of there. We're like, are their noses that good? So struggled tonight. We just had a, a pretty good group of pigs come in. One really nice big boar. Um, closest they got was 37 yards and smelled us. Took off. So. But that's hunting. You know, we're just going to have to hang in there and see what happens. We've got another hour or so. So we, uh, we both learned a very valuable lesson. You know, when you're hunting these pigs, they are wild. They're wild pigs. These aren't, you know, tame pigs. They're not trained pigs. Uh, they're very difficult. Um, you know, and, you know, a pig is actually very intelligent. Uh, it's kind of on the line of a dog. They're very trainable, uh, you know, pet pigs. But these are wild pigs that have been trapped outside the enclosure and brought in. So they're totally wild pigs and they're very smart. So be on your toes when you come to Shiloh Ranch. What if I told you I had a product that your deer would crave, but it wasn't a feed, a bait, or an attractant? What if I told you I had a product that would enhance the quality of your native browse, but it wasn't a fertilizer? A product you could use to change a deer's feeding patterns and yet other hunters wouldn't be able to see it. This one of a kind product is called Booner Builder and it's powered by nature. Keep deer on your property like I do using Booner Builder spray. Well, it's the last morning of our hunt here at Shiloh Ranch. Um, we're looking at a map of the, of the, of the ranch here. It's about 400 acres. 
and uh, weatherman says the wind's coming east, southeast. Uh, we're just trying to pick a stand. There's so much to choose from. So uh, we hunted number one the other night, and I think the stand's going to be in a good position for our wind direction. So. Well, it's Sunday morning, September the 15th. We're in Oklahoma on a big hunt. Uh, we're hunting with uh, Shiloh Ranch this week. And uh, it's been pretty exciting. This is our last hunt of the week, though. And uh, everyone's killed pigs. We're trying to kill one more. I'm sitting here with a Cam X crossbow. And she's a shooter, so... Uh, got a beater out here in front of us about 20 yards and it's fixing to go off in about 10 or 15 minutes so hopefully when this feeder sounds off we'll have some action so stay tuned uh, we had uh, just one day left just Sunday morning and we got in the stand and we we're hunting over a feeder and um, sure enough we finally got the wind right I mean we've been struggling with the wind these pigs have been smelling us you know, it's 90 degrees there's two of us in the stand it's very difficult uh, to to keep your your scent in check when it's 90 degrees so um, it's almost impossible actually so we finally got the wind perfect um, and and here they come Since, uh, since I shot this pig, I'm pretty sure it was a good shot. It sure felt good. So uh, we're getting ready to get in here and track this pig. Come on with us. Well, pretty dirty and bloody. I don't think I want to put that back in the bow. It's too, too nasty. So we'll get a fresh arrow out.
safe, we're ready to ride. Here on this leaf. Right there. Went further than I thought he would. Did a lot of zigzagging. I guess as the crow flies, we're probably less than 100 yards from the stand, but let's go see what we got. Well, if you want a good pig to eat, shoot a nice medium-sized sow like that. That's the best table fare. This is a result of our hunt this morning at Shiloh Ranch in Oklahoma. It's been, uh, we got to go home. I don't want to go. We've been having a lot of fun this week. But, uh, yeah, nice little... Well, actually a pretty nice little uh, sow here. This is one of the better ones to eat if you, wanna, if you want a good pig to eat. This is the perfect size. This and a little smaller. Um, once again, Cam Expo did a great job for us. Uh, got a nice pass through, double lung shot. And I uh, wanna say thanks to the Nappers for an awesome hunt. And uh, I hope we get invited back here. This place is awesome. Thank you. Well, that wraps up this episode of Crossbow Nation TV. I hope you enjoyed watching Bill's hog hunt at the Shiloh Ranch. And if you've ever thought about wanting to hunt hogs, you need to give the Shiloh Ranch a call. Matt and Cheryl Knapper run a top-notch outfitting business. Their prices are very affordable. You don't need an out-of-state hunting license or tag to hunt hogs on the Shiloh Ranch. And the best part is, you're going to see plenty of hogs. So give them a call.